Hello everyone, my name is Webweaver, and welcome back to another episode of World of Horror, or whatever's on your screen right now. Listen, I just died in Signalis, and then I just stopped playing the game, and then I booted up World of Horror. I wasn't even planning on recording the episode right now, I wanted to play Signalis. But like, Signalis is actually going to turn me into the Joker. I know I started the last video like this, but there are just so many, like, nothing ruins an immersive like, horror, sci-fi experience, like, just the most frustrating fucking things for no reason, right? Like, so l l let me explain the... There's an inventory size limit in Signalis, and I'm actually okay with this in theory. I think having a limited inventory in these kinds of games can be really fun. Uh, however, it's a combination of limited inventory, limited resources that don't come back, so you have a finite amount of resources to get through the stage with, and then, or the level or whatever. Uh, and then you have a, also, key items, and enemies respawn, and you can only kill, you can only permanently kill, like, two enemies in the, in the level that you're in, right? Because that's how many thermite charges you have. So it's like, I almost, like, I, I, Web Weaver will never make a review copium. I almost want to make a review of, about Signalis out of spite, because it's like, oh my god, <laughs> there are just some really weird things that they do that I just don't know why. Like, it almost, I'm not joking here, it almost boggles my mind more than, uh, than World of Horror. Like, some of the weird World of Horror-isms that we all know and love. Signalis does weird shit that I have no idea why, and apparently if you, like, criticize any of it, people are like, oh, but it's supposed to be that way. And it's like, okay, it can be that way, but it can also be bad. You know what I mean? Like, okay. So, you have six inventory slots, right? So you start- so, first of all, the only way to deal damage in the game is with a gun or with a disposable tool, or at least up until the point of the game that I'm at. So I have, that's at minimum five inventory slots left because I have to have a weapon. The disposable tools, you only get a couple of them every now and again, and they just let you kill an, a, they down an enemy so that you can kill them. So, and then bullets also, are like you know consumable items and they're very rare like i'll go through a room like i'll go through a room and then i'll get like two pistol bullets and i need like five or six to kill a single enemy right so it's like i, I i'm like almost <laughs> i don't <laughs> i don't even get enough bullets to kill an enemy but the frustrating thing is that you have to kill enemies to progress because if you don't kill the enemies, then they're going to hit you, and then you're going to have to spend healing items, which are also limited. So you get to this weird point where it's like, you walk into a room, decide if you're going to kill the enemies, or you're going to chance having to pay a health tax every time you go in. And it's just so... It's just so weird, because, like... How do I put it? There, there's nothing worse than walking into a room in Signalis and it having, like, a, a key item. And so you kill the enemy, and you're like, I don't have a thermite charge, so I'm just gonna pick up this key item, and it doesn't matter. And then you explore the room, and it's like, oh, fuck, there's another key item, and I don't have the inventory slots for this. So I have to leave something behind, which means I have to come back later, and when I'm back, the enemy will re have, have respawned. And so that means that I have to either, like, leave the item near the door so that I can, like, I don't even know if you can, like, put an item on the ground and come back for it later. But, like, it's just, it's so bad, because it's like, alright, I gotta fucking, like, discard an item so I can pick up a new one. Or, when I come back here, the enemy might get back up, and I might have to spend more ammo on it. Or, I might just have to tank the enemy and lose, like, a bunch of auto-injectors or lose, like, a bunch of healing items. It's just so, like, the actual gameplay of Signalis is good, but there's just a bunch of, like, dumb design choices. And the, here's the thing, the devs definitely knew what they were making, 
because there are tons of rooms where you can just stealth through and you never have to deal with the enemies. But some of the enemies are like walking around like a repair patch or something that could be helpful. So you kind of have to like weigh your options. Like, do I want to spend the ammo to get that drop over there? Or do I just want to keep stealthing through this room? But some of the rooms are just hallways that you have to go through a lot. And, there are, and, and the enemies stand right next to the only doors you can go through. And oh my god, it's so like... It's like if there's two enemies in the hallway, then you have to use both of your thermite charges to make that hallway safe. And you're going to be going through that hallway a lot. But then there's like four other hallways that also have enemies patrolling them that you're going to have to go through a lot. And it's like, oh my god. Like, they at least give you multiple ways to go up and down the different floors, but it's like... It's just so bad, because I'm at a point where I think my save is not necessarily, like, soft-locked, but missing the revolver was just, like, the stupidest fuck. I couldn't figure out how to grab the revolver. I figured I could go back for it later, so I just killed the boss and then, you know, got went to the next level. And it's like... Missing the revolver was, like, the worst fucking thing I could have ever done. Like, I might actually just, like, load a save and go go figure out how to get the revolver. Because it's, like, not having that weapon is so bad. Because that one revolver ammo drop you get is just such an insult. Because it's like, oh, well, that weapon that you don't have is the only thing that you have ammo for. And what's worse is, like, they put enemies in rooms that have items that you need. Which would normally be fine, but it, it, again, it's like you you either have to know exactly what you need to bring into that room before you walk into it so that you can grab the items out of there and leave or solve the puzzle and leave, uh, or you have to uh, just waste a lot of time backtracking over and over again. And here's the thing, again, I don't mind having a limited inventory and being like, oh crap, I don't have this item, I gotta run back to the storeroom. Because it doesn't take that long. But it's just such an annoyance to be like, okay, I came into this room, it was pretty difficult to get here, and I had to run through a lot of enemies, and I don't have the ammo to kill those enemies, and even if I did, they would respawn by the time I'm back here, and I need a bunch of stupid shit, you know? And then you also have to worry about how there's a fucking boss fight at the end of the level, and it's like, I don't have the ammo for that. I literally don't. And if in the boss arena they give you fucking revolver ammo because haha, funny moment, it's like, yeah, I'd just be screwed. So I might have to, like, just, like, lose, like, an hour and a half in pro progress to go back, get the revolver, because I still have a save before the first boss. I don't know, it's just, I don't know why they would make the game like that, like... I'm not a big fan of the games with limited resources, TM, where they just, like, give you a shit ton of stuff before you need to, like, use a shit ton of stuff. And so I'm glad that it doesn't do that. But, like, you know that this could just be solved, like, your shove does a small amount of damage. Maybe it does... I've just never managed to kill, like, I shoved, like, a zombie, like, like, a basic zombie probably, like, ten times, and I don't think it worked. But, like, if there was a way that you could, like, kill an enemy without, well, kill in quotation marks, because, you know. Like, if there was a way that you could just, like, kill a single enemy alone, that's a, just a single enemy that's alone without having to spend any resources... That would just be- that would fix so many problems immediately. It would make the game more tedious, but it would fix, like, 90% of the problems that I have with it, because I would never get into the situation that I'm in- that I'm in now. Because it's like- it's kind of, like, I don't know. I don't even know how to explain it. It feels like a game I would enjoy if I knew what I was doing, but because I'm playing it for the first time, it's just like a bunch of trial and error running around. It's like, oh, hey, I don't have this. Haha, <laughs> very funny moment. I killed all these enemies for no reason. And I might as like, it's a game that encourages you to save scum. Because like, you know, you go into a room, you don't need to be here yet. You already killed all the enemies, though. So that was a waste of ammo because the enemies will get back up when you come back. And it's like, ugh. 
Anyways, let's let's just do this. I, I ranted for 10 minutes. We've been on the screen for 10 minutes. Uh, Stakashi, Dexterity, Light Source, uh, Seconds, and Knowledge. Well, Knowledge and Light Source? I just got the flashlight in Signalis, by the way. And by that, I mean I died. So, you know, I have to go get that again. But it is what it is. It's just a weird design, you know? Because it's like World of Horror also emulates, like, old games, right? So World of Horror, some people would say, like, World of Horror has a lot of, like, you know, older game stuff, like limited inventory, and you can only access your inventory some of the times, and, you know, uh, uh, World of Horror is esoteric in a lot of ways. But it's more, like, World of Horror gives you the, I mean, first of all, resources are all random, so, you know, you have a very set amount of stuff that you can use 100% of the time every run. Signalis doesn't really have that, because it's like, well, uh, you brought a pistol with you? Like, you, 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 the fool, decided to use the pistol? <laughs> Here's two pistol bullets and eight shotgun shells, moron idiot. You went past the point of no return, and now you have to run through, like, eight enemies to unlock the storage room so you can get your shotgun? Ha! <laughs> you know, I don't know. It's just, like... I, I, I don't think I would ever design a game to play like Signalis, so I don't think I would ever run into these problems. But I feel like you could band-aid it by just giving people, like, a melee weapon that's, like, bad, and you can't deal with crowds of enemies with it so you have to take enemies on one at a time with the melee weapon i feel like that would solve like 90 percent of the problems that i'm having with the game because it's like it's just the the game itself maybe the more the easier difficulties are more enjoyable because you'll get like more bullets and enemies will take less bullets but i don't even know if like the um the thing people are saying on the forums where it's like, the smaller the box gets, the fast, like, the more damage your bullet will do. I, I don't know, like, at all, right? Like, I, I don't know if that's true at all. Because I've let that box get down, like, very small on some enemies, and it still takes five to six shots to kill them. And then sometimes I'll shoot one enemy and they'll just go down on the first shot and I'll have no idea why, because I shot them immediately. And then sometimes the shotgun kills enemies in one hit and sometimes it doesn't. And the pellets seem random too, because like sometimes I'll shoot the shotgun and the pellets will like bounce all over the place and then the enemy will instantly die. And then other times all of the pellets will hit the enemy and they won't die. And I'm pretty sure they're the same enemy. They don't look that different. There are some that have, like, riot shields that are pretty cool. And there are some that come out of the floors and are really fast. But, you know, like, the basic zombies that some of them wield, like, knives. Some of them just run at you. It's like, sometimes those die immediately. And sometimes they take, like, 8 million shots to kill. And then I'm out of ammo for the next, like, 30 minutes. And then I have to just run through every enemy and hope that I have enough healing items on me. It's such a, it's such a weird experience. And it kind of, like, here's the thing. It's not scary if you're annoyed, right? Like, it, it, <laughs> it's not scary if you're just like, oh, yeah, you know? Ooh, hold on, hold on. What were we cooking? We can cook, he can cook, I'm down. I am absolutely down. All right, we're gonna do ramen first. It's a little bit weird. So we're gonna go here. Hunger is fine, I don't care. Well, it might kill us in the end, but you know. I don't know, it's just such a weird game design thing. And I have like, no idea. Like, it has to be more forgiving on the easier difficulties, right? And I don't even think it's, like... I, I think it's the bad kind of difficulty. Because I think a good difficulty is, like... You know... Well, I actually don't know how you'd make a, a, a harder version of that game. Because the problem is... That, like... The, uh, the no uh, like, a normal enemy on average takes, like, six bullets to kill. You're in a really small room, so even if you do have, like, extra damage for letting the square get smaller, 
it still doesn't really matter because you don't have the distance for that. And then, like, I don't know, any game, like, I love rat strats, okay? I actually love rat strats. Like, any game that lets you do something like that, like, just, like, do loot runs and then return to your storage room to, like, count the, the coins and the gold that you got, that's pretty cool. First enemy, by the way. But when I'm thinking to myself, okay, I should, I have these rooms that I can explore because I just got the flashlight. I'm going to save the game, run into these rooms with auto-injectors enabled, see if there's anything good, and if there's nothing good, I'm just gonna die and or load the save and then go into a different room. Like, I should never have to be thinking about that as a player. Like, the, I, I do genuinely believe that if your game is like, okay, I'm just gonna, like, save scum because, like, this is annoying and you kind of get into that trial and error mindset. Like, if you get into that, like, if your game encourages that, I think that that's, that's bad design, for real. And maybe that's just the hard mode. Maybe the hard mode is intended for people who know what they're doing already and know where everything is, in which case I would probably enjoy it. Like I said, if I had played the, like, if I was experienced with the game, I would probably be having a good time. But it's just like, there are so many bizarre things that they do with the with the hard difficulty and i feel like well th there's a couple ways that i uh, well another thing that you could do but it would defeat the purpose of thermite and thermite is probably thematically cool in the easier difficulties but like just have the enemies not respawn or make enemies respawning super rare right like either of those things would make it a lot better but as it stands it, it again it just feels very like and trial and error is the is the wrong term because it's just tedious it's just repetitive it's like okay i checked this room how many resources did i waste oh that's too many better load the save and the rewards for actually like clearing a room of enemies is usually like nothing if anything like there are just rooms that have like repair patch and it's like oh nice great wonderful awesome and then you just like y you regret everything because if you continue playing the game at that point you're punished oh that's the the wrong thing that's the wrong button to press and i i i don't like that from a from a game design perspective because it's like oh yeah you could you went into this room like because here's the thing right like i'm thinking like okay it's a survival horror i've got to scrounge for resources i've got to i've got to pick my battles i i've got a rat strat loot between rooms so that i can like consolidate my supplies and then once i find out where i'm going i can grab the supplies that i need and head out that's cool but that's not how the game plays the game plays like grab as many healing items as you can run around wildly and then just shove enemies out of your way, running through each and every room to see where the key items are, die, and then reload your save, and then just go grab the key items while spending is the Like, it, it, it doesn't work. It does not do what it wants to do. And also, the game is so linear that it's like, you can walk into a room that's important, and then, again, you can clear out the enemies, and then be like, okay, uh, what's in this room? Ah, nothing. Nice. Awesome. And then you can come back later when the room's actually important. And then it's like, uh-oh. It, it just... It's a weird design. And the game, like, from a story perspective, is really cool. Like, I I'm not joking. The story's fucking crazy. And I love everything that's happening right now. Not from like a, I would want this to happen to me because it's actually hell, but like the game is so intriguing and interesting. It's just a shame that the hard mode gameplay is like that. And you know, it's weird because it's like, it's got a lot of stuff that 
I would be like, oh yeah, limited inventory, so it's kind of like World of Horror. But it does, but there's just like, I, I mean the inventory thing. Okay, let's talk about the inventory, all right? You got six slots. You have to have resources to damage enemies. That's not bad, okay? That's genuinely not bad. So, what you could do is, if you wanted to fix it and still have give people a limited inventory, make the... give you a dedicated weapon slot. So, carrying ammo is an inventory slot, and... Car or I should say carrying extra ammo, because that's actually something that you can do that I actually really like, is when you have ammo in a gun, that's one less inventory slot that you need. And so you have a limited amount of ammo you can spend while you're outside the storeroom. I actually think that's really cool. But again, the problem of, like, because the enemies respawn... And because there's no way to, like, get ammo outside of ammo drops, it just feels, like, really bad. Because it's like, oh, okay, I killed an enemy. Why? Why did I kill this enemy? What benefit did killing this enemy give me? Oh, nothing? Cool. And then, of course, using the thermite always feels bad, because it's like you can make a hallway safer. You can make one or two hallways safe. And then every time you have to run through any other hallway, you're like, oh, God. Because, again, there's no point in killing them, because you're running, you're running through that hallway so much, they're going to get back up. It's, uh, it's not great. But, uh, like, yeah, okay, you can make it to... You could do the thing World of Horror does, where you have these slots external to your inventory, and these slots contain special items. You could do that. Uh, you could do the more modern game thing where key items don't take up inventory slots, but that would kind of lose some of the magic. I would admit that, uh, like, I would happily say that it's better that key items take up inventory slots. I think it, I, I think it sells the fantasy of the game uh, a lot better. Second enemy moment? Groovy. So I'm, I'm actually completely fine with, uh... With, uh, like, uh, key quest items taking up inventory slots. Because you you basically get them in the order that you need to use them anyways. The, the, the game has been pretty linear so far in that regard. Although I will say, when I died, I did have, like, three or four keys, so... Maybe the game is starting to open up a little bit. I mean, I'm definitely gonna still play it. The game is great. The game, here's the thing, the game's great. It's definitely worth the money. Don't play on hard mode. The game was not designed for that. But uh, another thing that you could do for the inventory thing would be make it to where your equipped items don't take up inventory slots. That would be good. Like, if I'm holding the, the stun prod in my hand, why is that taking up an inventory slot, you know? Why is that taking up a slot in the back pocket? Uh, do something like this. And then we'll just put all of our points into strength for now, I guess. Uh, absolutely equip this. The bronze crucifix is not that good, but with the chainsaw, I'll allow it. Did I take the money? Yes, I did. Bulletin Vigil Sailors. Uh, we can do Vigil Moments, sure. Because we don't have the thing yet, so. But yeah, I would highly recommend Signalis, despite me spending 20 minutes, 23 minutes complaining about it. Just don't play on the hard mode. The hard mode is something for people who have already played the game and want to beat it again. But they want to, like, suffer for it, so like, ah. Oh, I know I need to go in here to grab this item, but I, I don't know if I have the, the resources to do it, so I just gotta, like, equip an auto-injector and pray. Let's go! You know? Because, like, if you know what you're doing, the hard mode would actually be fun. But... And maybe you could say, like, Web, isn't this just, like, World of Horror? I don't believe it is. Because World of Horror always has that random element. Right? Where it's like, 
you ha and World of Horror also has the bad but free option. Signalis doesn't have the bad but free option. There's no reusable or rechargeable stun prod that I've found. So it's like, you know, it, it's just a, a... A rechargeable stun prod would go hard. I'm not gonna lie. That would be useful. You could boil this down to skill issue... But the thing is, I actually don't think it's a skill issue, because I'm not dying because of the, like, the game being hard. I'm I'm dying because it's the fastest way to load the save. <laughs> because again, it's like, I just, like, in a game with limited resources, players are, like, first of all, players are always going to optimize fun out of your game. So it's like, in a game with limited resources and respawning enemies, what do you think people are going to do? Do you think they're going to waste all of their precious boss-killing resources on killing that scrunkle in the hallway? No, they're just going to run past that scrunkle in the hallway and pray there's a repair patch on the other side of the door. Right? Like, I'll deal with enemies if I'm able to thermite them, or if I need to loot that room frequently. Or, I'm going to be in that room frequently enough to where the enemy being dead and then getting back up later is more convenient than potentially taking damage every single time I run through that room. But, like, how do I put it? It's so weird. Wall moment? Ah, oh, this is so bad. Yeah, I'll take two reason for fun, why not? Just because I can, you know? Just because I'm simply built different. Now, we didn't do any of the things, so we're gonna take 6% Doom here, which is not... great. I would say it's not a banger. Hopefully we can uh, get some minus Doom down in a moment. Oh, hey! 14 health, huh? Neat. I mean, I was hoping for brain worms or expel evil, but, you know, that's fine. Goodbye, Akane. Akane Gaming. 45% Doom Mystery 3. That's actually not that bad. I haven't been paying attention to this run at all, because it's like a fucking chainsaw run. Like, what do you want me to say? It's like, oh, we win every combat automatically for fun? Oh, that's crazy. Like, I didn't even take bonus there, because it's like, why? I don't need it. I'd rather take the stats to make the events easier. Bulletin... Sailors. We do have a couple of items we can discard. I will honestly, because I'm worried about ghost enemies existing, I'll do it like this. I will, it's true. If we knew that we were on uh, timeline B, I would have discarded the heavy duty flashlight because we would have gotten the torch, but uh... yeah, sure, why not? Just roll the dice for fun. Also, there's more ways to... I cannot believe I'm saying this. I cannot believe I'm saying this. Harbinger of Doom is more resource generous than the hard mode of Signalis. Now, maybe that's just because of the genre difference. And, like, the fact that World of Horror has permanent weapons. But, like, yeah. 60% hit chance? Oh my god. I mean, we can do 470% for fun, and by that I mean 470% uh, for fun. We would never miss. He would never miss. I mean, we have 8 million faith. I mean, look at that. We have 23 faith, 25 faith. Who cares? Did I just go to the wrong place? I think I did. That's fine. Get lost in the light. Uh, I mean, that's doom reduction, but I'd rather just do that. I do need to get this cured. We'll take the 2% Doom because it's just simply less. 
And we get some free painkillers, so that's nice. But, like, because I'm trying to think... I. I will be real with you, I'm not a big survival horror genre Andy, but like, doesn't Resident Evil give you like the knife? Like, you, like I've seen images of like Resident Evil characters with a knife cutting at zombies, and it takes like 8 million years to kill the zombie, but you can at least kill the zombie with a knife. Does that make sense? Maybe. I don't know. Maybe it doesn't make sense. Maybe Signalis is like a masterpiece of the a mechanical masterpiece of the genre because here's the thing story-wise again i don't want to undercut the actual story of signals at all the story is awesome the 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 graphics the aesthetic the art style the story the characters are all really really cool like i love the world that they're putting out here all right so yeah that's like Again, if you're like if you're into the survival horror stuff, if you're in if you're into like sci-fi horror or like robot horror of like a a any variety of robot horror, I mean Signalis is like a must. Like it, it it's really good. Like it should probably be very telling that a game that I am not enjoying the aspect of playing it on hard difficulty is so interesting that I'm playing it anyways, despite what I personally believe is, uh, you know, uh, not a great design. And here's the thing, you play on normal mode, I'm sure the game is perfectly fine. Like, it'll give you plenty of ammo, enemies will die quickly, and so it doesn't matter. Are, are we on the Signalis arc forever now? Yes, until I beat the game. Th thank, thanks for asking that question, uh, straw man. I really appreciate it. On other news, I believe housing bids opened up for FF14. And so that means that it's mansion round two, baby! I haven't bid yet. I haven't logged on yet. I was doing some- I was doing real life stuff earlier today. I will say though, it's really, really funny. The, uh, the new Ultimate came out today, and people are progging it. <laughs> and first of all, the weapons look awesome. I really want the Reaper Scythe, and I don't even play Reaper. Now I want to play Reaper. But, uh, the new- the new weapons look really cool. And here's the thing, normally the ultimate weapons look bad because, like, they have these horrible, like, visual effects on them that just look ugly as hell. And I'll be honest with you, the Omega weapons, their models, some of them don't look great, but the visual effects are, like, impeccable. Like, I love it. It's, like, this sort of, like, black and white that gets overtaken by purple. It looks great. So, uh, we do a little running as a treat, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Do I want to put the Ancient Ring on? I mean, I might as well, right? Because I can just take it off. I, I can simply just take it off later if I need to. Uh, Rip Bozo Pack Watch? Oh, jeez. Oh, wait, hold on. Um, I mean, I'd like to hit this multiple times. You know what? We could just run away. We, I, I actually think we might run away here. This is scary. Because we could do this, and then we can go down to four. Like, why would I want that? Regain one stamina, and then run away. Yeah, that's good. I, I don't actually like that. Because that Blood Moon makes things, like, worrisome just a, just a little bit. And we'll immediately get our Doom back because the game is really cool. Uh, Punch. Mangled Hand? Oh, no shot. It's right here. You can't do that. You can't... Okay, Pad Stash is behind the curtain. He's pulling the funny lever again, okay? 
We told him to stop. But, you know. It's okay. Alright. I... Fair, fair enough, game. I apologize. We will... Did we have a dexterity? I think it was, like, strength and knowledge, right? Like, that was it? I'll take a point of dexterity anyways. That sounds nice. Just kind of round it out. Let her sleep? Let her cook? No, no, no. But yeah, wish me luck. We're going for a mansion, Lamau. Mansion round two. I mean, after this, oh my god, we're gonna die? We're gonna die? We're actually going to die? Um, what was I saying? So basically, like... We're going, we're going for a mansion. And this is gonna be the last time for a long time we're gonna be able to get a mansion. So... I guess we'll see what happens. I click yes, like, three trillion times. Not an exaggeration. <laughs> Not clickbait. Oh uh, no! I almost pressed the wrong button. I almost pressed the wrong button. Then you almost got a fight scene with like an 80 power enemy. That would have been in incredibly terrifying. That would have been scary, actually. For for uh, forever together, <laughs> together with Blood Moon and you have panic would be like one of the scariest enemy combinations in the game. Like you would have like a 10% chance to hit. Like it would be fucking, it would be fucking scary. Um, I don't think any of this matters like at all looking at our stats and our items. So I'm just gonna hit send and we're gonna hope that we win and we probably will. This is gonna be a 40 minute run because I ranted about Sigmalis for 20 minutes pretty funny, actually. That's a, that's an all-time certified classic, the Signalis arc. People are gonna be talking about that one ten years from now. Uh, I don't really care, but it was uh, definitely this one. Oh, we can level up again? That's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and do that. Okie doke. So that's the end of the run. That's the end of the... That's the end of Look Who It Is. Uh, I'm probably gonna play more Signalis later tonight, but I don't know if I want to restart. Like, I might just suffer without the revolver. Do I really want to suffer? I don't even know if you can get the revolver. I just saw it in the x-ray machine, and it had three bullets in it. And I was like, oh, that'd be cool to have. And then I found revolver ammo, and then I'm like, oh, I definitely should have saw... I, I definitely fucked that puzzle up. But then again, it's like, the solution to that puzzle, like, I don't even know. I didn't even know it was a puzzle. Because there's like, well, I mean, there's a puzzle element to it, but I don't want to spoil that. Anyways. Stay safe out there, have a good one, bye.